So type 1 diabetes is a dangerous illness. It can lead to blindness, kidney failure, and also amputation. That's right. Now there's a new device being tested that could make life better for diabetics. Carrie Drew has more on this month's big idea. I was diagnosed in 1979 when I was six years old. Um, that was really the dark ages of diabetes. Alicia Wesner has worried about her type 1 diabetes for most of her life. You know, there's no break from it. It's 24-7. It's As a diabetic, Alicia wears an insulin pump and a continuous glucose monitor. All right, 149. To figure out how much insulin she needs. Managing it all and getting it right is difficult. During the day, I can, I can keep an eye on what my blood sugar is. I can make adjustments during the day as quickly as possible. At night, it's, it's a totally different game. Between two and three million Americans are currently living with type 1 diabetes, and they have to keep an eye on their blood sugar all day and all night. But what if there was something that could do it for them? Enter a groundbreaking system called the artificial pancreas. We call this the artificial pancreas because we're essentially trying to replace what nature unfortunately took away in diabetes with a machine. Aaron Kowalski is the chief mission officer at JDRF, which is funding research on the artificial pancreas. Here's how it works. The patient would still wear an insulin pump and use a continuous glucose monitor, but now the two devices would be able to communicate wirelessly to a smartphone through Bluetooth technology. The smartphone would act as a mini computer, instructing the pump to dispense insulin using real-time data. And this is going to be transformative because it'll take a lot of the management burden off the shoulders of the people with diabetes. Computers can outperform people in a lot of the things that we do. The computer in this system, which is just software on an app on the cell phone or in the insulin pump, watches the glucose level all of the time. And, and it's very sophisticated mathematics. It's the decision maker. It will say, wait, I see the blood glucose levels changing. You need more insulin. Wait, the sugars are dropping. You need less insulin. Dr. Carol Levy is the director of the Mount Sinai Diabetes Center. In November, she led a five-day clinical study of the artificial pancreas, and the results were incredible. We would be watching them on a computerized screen throughout the night and almost sometimes cheering with how wonderful the system worked. They don't have to worry about getting up at 3 in the morning, doing a finger stick, looking at the vice, getting alerted, and it takes care of it beautifully, and they wake up with a great morning blood sugar level. Dr. Levy has a personal stake in the research. She, too, has type 1 diabetes. It's huge because it's world changing and life changing for people with diabetes. It's almost like having a little doctor following you around all the time. There were 10 participants in the study. Among them was Alicia, a patient of Dr. Levy's. When you heard about the results, what was your reaction? Crying. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's one thing to hear about it. It's another thing to have it on your body. The hardest part was giving it back. More research is still being done, but the device is expected to be approved by the FDA in the next few years. In the next two years or so, we're going to have people wearing these in the real world. Research in the lab is wonderful, but this is something that a patient can visualize and have hope for. And for Alicia, the artificial pancreas means people diagnosed with diabetes in the future will have a different life than she had. A life with less worry and more freedom. And to think that this could really happen and change people's lives, I, it's, it's an enormous responsibility um, and, a, and a level of excitement that I, I really don't think I can put into words. Carrie Drew, Fox 5 News.